हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक विद अनदर ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज फॉर एस क्यू लाइट डेटा बेस सो वाई वी नीड एस क्यू लाइट डेटा बेस वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज माई एस क्यू एल वी कैन यूज नो डी पी नो एक्सेस और एक्सेस एस क्यू एल एक्सेस डेटा बेस सो आई एम सेंग दैट वी वॉन्ट टू यूज एस क्यू लाइट द बेसिक the advantages you can get from sqlite are you don't need to process your queries sqlite don't process your queries when you execute want to execute a query while other other databases execute and processes your queries before executing them so today we will first see how can we download sqlite database uh, drivers which we will be needed to interact with the sqlite studio so i am going to first of all download sqlite studio you can download it from sqlite studio download here we go and from here you can download any of the any operating system related uh, studio you want according to your own specifications and your operating system so and uh, how can we download sqlite database sqlite jdbc 3.20 drivers there are also 3.21 new version has been in the market you can download it from here download and from here i can download it but i have already downloaded it so i am not going to download it again once you guys have uh, download this you need to install sqlite studio sqlite studio so it's something looks like this one you can open any db dot db file with this one this studio and actually i have forgotten where i have installed it so here sqlite studio and uh, first of all you will need to create an a new database and we will be seeing how can we insert update delete data from sqlite database first of all we will create connection with the sqlite studio with the database and uh, then we will go further away. so i am going to create a new database there is no path so just select a path where you want to put your database i am going to put it in documents and from here no in netbeans project and first of all let me I mean, create a database project new project and yeah let's name it uh, what should we name it sqlite database sqlite connection creating <laughs> okay Here we go. So now can I? Now I can store this one, this database into the project I have already created. So I am gonna store it here. And just I have to give the name to the database. Let's say temp dot db. So 
it's gonna be saved on the path which I have given to it and let's say okay once we have given it we have created the database we have to add the libraries the libraries are what the jar files we have just downloaded add jar folder SQLite database where you have put it your own I have put it in another path so I'm gonna take it from here I'm gonna adding this database drivers to my SQLite project so we have just added SQLite database drivers to our project So once we have added our, we have created our database in the SQLite database studio, here our database, we can create some tables in it but uh, we will create them in the next tutorial, first we have to create the connection with the SQLite database. So how can we create the connection, for connecting to the SQLite database just we have created, we need to have our variable known as connection an object of the connection class we can give it access parameter public and we let's make it private so that only this class can have access to it and when we will create statements we will need statement object let's name it as t mostly we name it as t and also import these libraries these are we can actually do something more no and that's it so and uh, we just don't need result is, mm, for this time but we will need it in the next tutorial we will create it there so how can we create the connection with the database First of all, we needed to write all the connection statements into the try catch block so that no errors will come. So, try catch and tag. Let's tag. Why it's not working? Maybe I'm not doing it. Let's do it in the old fashion. No. Try and catch. I'm just writing this section here. Yes. And now what? So here we go. Now we first of all need to create the connection. How can we create the connection? So we can say con equal just stop for two seconds as uh, something important. dot catch connection we just need to pass a url here so url will be a string which must have the first argument which it will have jdbc then a sign of column then the sql lite database name and then the path of the file where we have we have stored our uh, database so that we can get it from there and store data into it so I have stored it in that project temp.db maybe it will work let's hope once we have created once we have uh, gotten the connection we can create statements so st equal con dot create statement once the create statement is created so wherever we want to use this database we can just uh, create the object of this class sqlite connection and then we can uh, return the statement to that uh, calling class so let's change it here st 
statement we are gonna return statement return the statement and my screen here oh, okay hmm. and we are gonna do it here return my screen and if it failed if uh, an error occurred so we are gonna just print a message connection failed so let's hope it will work and uh, what's going on here Oh sorry. I hope you can write S out then press tab and this will appear. Here I'm gonna say connection fail while uh, here I'm gonna say successful. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Save it. Okay, and run it. So, what's gonna be its output? Maybe I have done the wrong database path. Let's see what happens. So, nothing happened because we have not just called the function. We have to call the function. Okay, how can we call this? We can directly call it or not. We have to create a yeah. We have to create an object of this class before then we can call it. So class name is SQL SQL like connection. We can say OBJ equal new SQL SQL light connection. Then we can say obj dot connection. Now the function has been called. And either it will be successful or not. Let's see what happens. So you can see here the connection has been created successfully. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna add something to the database. We will create some tables to the in the database, and we will then add some um, data into the database. We will insert it, update it, and delete it. So thank you for your time, and please keep visiting and subscribe my channel.